What's up guys and gals, WSD here, and today we'll be playing Slender Tubbies. Let's give it a go. So, I've got to collect all Teletubby uh, custards. I think actually, when you're younger, you could actually get them in a yogurt pack, Teletubbies. Uh, you might be like, oh, come on, how do you know this? Uh, I was actually one of the uh, biggest Teletubby fans when I was younger, you know, had the uh, toaster, cost 50 quid, you know, toast spread, you're like, was it worth it? Yes, you got Teletubby toast, I'll tell you now, that was the shit, okay, that was the best thing you could get, you know, I was a massive Teletubby fan, uh, ironically, I think I actually did dress up as a Teletubby on Halloween once, uh, not, not, thankfully I wasn't a slender tubby though, uh, okay, uh, gotta probably keep pay more attention looking for these uh, Teletubby custards you, know, you wonder how these characters get in these scenarios it's like ah oh, I knew I shouldn't have gotten in the back of that van yeah I know promise me sweeties and to meet the Teletubbies in person you know but ah oh, looking back that was a definite mistake or maybe you just you know got drunk passed out woke up very convenient having a torch though to be honest you know, in the middle of the woods. You don't know where you are, but you have a torch on you. Uh, jeez, where are these custards? Uh, right. Looking through here, looking through here. I've got, actually, okay. So this guy, that's backstory, because everyone likes a bit of backstory. Uh, he's probably, like, this is this is the number one Teletubby fan, you know. He's gone to find them, and he's got lost in the woods on the way there at night time. And he's hoping to get there by dawn, because everybody knows when the baby sun comes up, the, the Teletubbies just pop out the top of their Teletubby home. Still haven't found anything. Oh, there's, there's a big hill. Let's let's head that way. I'm kind of just keep walking. I, I, I mean, I've played this game once already. It was pretty scary. Can't remember which one the Teletubby's name it was, which is quite a pull now. It was ah, oh, got it. It was Tinky Winky. Came at me, sprinted like hell, got killed. Uh, had a bit of problem with the corn yourself, which is really annoying. I was trying to use fraps, but it didn't didn't really work. Had to use something else. You know, maybe there's like a. Uh, you know, like Ghostbusters, there's, there's a cleanup team and like Slender Busters for the Teletubbies. Or maybe this is what they turn in at night, you know, full moon. Teletubbies. By day, the lovable, friendly characters. By night, Slender Tubbies. Oh, walking through a, a V shaped valley. Jo geography knowledge busting that out now. But I can't walk over a bump. I don't have any feet. Oh, shit! I don't have any feet, so that's that probably why I can't walk over a bump. Okay, so I've already died, got stuck in the V-shaped valley. Apparently my geography knowledge didn't save me. Okay, so we're going to try again. Let's hope this time I actually find something. Okay, so I did... You know, I mentioned I played it before. I uh, did actually find one of the uh, the tubby things. One. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, well that scared me. Uh. You know, you don't just have trees falling down. I think that's a major safety hazard. The uh, tree association probably should have looked into that. You know, with health and safety standards being what they are these days. Then again, to think about it. They probably wouldn't let the slender tubbies loose. That's probably not covering health and safety regulations, so they probably don't care much for that. Um, I really want to find one of these pies. Walked into a tree. Skills. Uh, to be honest, if I was in this situation in real life, I would just climb up a tree and kind of cry for a couple of hours, try and get some sleep, cry a bit more. Okay, still still looking for those uh, Teletubby pies. Oh, oh, we spotted one. 
Let's go in. Oh, hang on. Okay, so we've collected one. Dramatic music. There's going to be a chase scene soon. I reckon. Slender Tubby coming after me. I do not want to see his face again. Okay, so... I think... Look at this. This is appalling. Someone should definitely be trimming this grass, you know. It's just been left. You know, Teletubby's house is burning. Apparently their insurance didn't cover... You know, kitting the whole house out again and hiring a gardener. It must be pretty rich if they own all this land, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, another Teletubby thing. We're on a roll, guys. Two in a row. Still haven't seen Slender Tubby yet. Quite impressed. Okay. You know, okay, guys, post in the comments what you would do in this situation. Find yourself in a forest and you're being hunted by a Teletubby. You know? Oh, oh god, he's near, he's near. Run, run. I wish there was a sprint key in this, to be honest. Just when you're really... Oh, I found the house! It's the Teletubby house! It's not on fire anymore. Maybe their insurance did, did pay for, for damages. wonder if I can get inside. Oh, okay, let's, let's try... Oh, we can go up the hill. We're going up the hill. Or the top of the house, really. Uh, okay. Where's the hole? Oh, there's the hole. Oh, we can go inside the house! Oh, there's, there's, oh, what's his name? I think it's Nunu. He's gone crazy. That's like my cat, you know, just chasing its tail. It will sit on the banister and it will just attack its tail until it falls off. So, clearly the insurance didn't cover all damages. Oh, another thing. How do I jump? How do I get up there? Oh, um, let's see. Past crazy Nunu and de oh my god, they decapitated him! He's decapitated! Look at that cute little face! Destroyed! Ah, oh, how do I get this? Oh my god! Oh my god! She's coming out of it! Coming out of it! So, whilst all my other recordings have been in like real time whilst I played the game. The next recording I'm about to show you is past me. Past me? Yes. I'm confused. Explain. So basically, the first time playing it through, there wasn't any sound for some reason, don't know why. So I decided to replay it through, get the sounds, and edit it in the right moments for you guys. Uh, basically, I thought it was kind of interesting, this footage. Also, I wanted a longer video, so here it is. And I'm going to comment on it in David real time, so basically, now. So, as you might have noticed, I walked into the wall several times. You know, clearly one of the greatest challenges for me in this game was working out how to press the E button to start it. So, after realising that uh, I did need to press the E button, I did it. And I also had recently discovered how to jump. That's right, I was racking up the skill level. So, I uh, jumped up a hill, just because I could. And I decided that this is what life would be like as a mountain goat, you know, calm... Seen on a hillside, being chased by a Teletubby. So, you know, as I jumped up the hill, stared at the grass, trying to eat it. Uh, uh, didn't really work, there wasn't an eat button. Uh, I tried to get to the top of the mountain, you know, become a mountaineer, gain even more skill points. Didn't work. Uh, as you'll realise, I just kept sliding down. Several times. It, it took me a couple of times to realise that I had even been sliding down, to be honest. But I assure you, I am clever. I, I think. So, here we go. Going up again. Hop, de 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 hop. What? Oh, right, yeah. Back to the commentary. So, still jumped up the hill. Reached the peak this time. Pelt pretty swag. And then fell down again. My, my, my skill level is racking up the points even further there. So, you know, I was just sitting around wondering where on earth Slender Tubby. You know, he's not. Where is he? Should have got me by now. Wanted the slender noise for the uh, the clips for you guys. Oh, and then he popped up on the screen, and I was like, "Yes, 
unlike normally when I'm like, no, run. So, um, anyway, I also remember that uh, around here was where the V-shaped valley was. So in a moment, you'll see me go and explore the V-shaped valley. You know how I was trying to hide in it last time? This time, I did it. Because I knew how to jump. It, it wasn't really that hard once you knew how to jump, to be honest. But, humour me. Oh, giant tree. Very interesting. Yep. You know, I, I love my trees. Um, there we go. I managed to drop down the V-shaped valley. So, you know, I should realise here that it's probably the best hiding place. You never actually... You can't, how would he get me down here? It's like a 50-foot drop. I don't even know how I survived. So, you know, as I, I was uh, reminding me of 127 hours, trapped there, staring out, waiting for Slenders to come and get me, I realised that maybe I was safe, aside from the fact I was trapped in a canyon at the bottom of a mountain. And so I decided to go and pop up and see where Slender Guy was. And by Slender Guy, I mean Slender Tinky Winky. Then he came towards me. dun 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 dun, -dun, -dun, -dun. So I decided to watch the TV on his stomach and see if there were any good programs. And as we saw... He was filming me the whole time. So, I really concluded that the whole point of him being slender was to film a new uh, thing for his uh, stomach TV. And uh, staring out and admiring the view, I decided to see if I would die. He didn't. He apparently couldn't get me, so, you know, falling down the pit, trapping my arm. Almost dying. Did help me. Still popping up on the screen, but not Ed. So I decided, you know, check out how his teeth, you know, dentistry. And I thought I'd look up and uh, see how healthy his teeth are. Maybe I could recommend him a toothpaste. I'm not being paid by Colgate to advertise here. But I, I would recommend it. So, that's the end. And... Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And so please... Like. Comment. And subscribe.